Every 50 hours of operation, the oil level needs to be checked in all the gear cases. You check the oil level with the platform level on the ground. You remove the plug. This is the main gear case oil level. You remove the plug. It's acceptable to have oil run out or be level with the plug. Check the oil level in the center gear case. Every 50 hours operation, 80W90 oil. We'll check the oil in the center feed gearbox oil. It's 8090 oil as well. Same thing, take the plug out. Oil should be just running out of the hole or level. Check oil levels in 90 degree gearboxes with a dipstick. Remove dipstick. Oil should be above the knurls. We're going to go over the grease intervals. Every 50 hours of grease, we're going to grease the drive shafts first, right here. Then we're going to grease the knife drive, drive shaft second. Then the real drive shaft grease circs every 50 hours. Main drive shaft grease circle is right here. Belt drive gear drive shaft grease circle is right here. Knife drive grease circle right here. Real grease circle right here. This is going to be, the book shows this as a 50 hour grease interval. These need to be greased daily, 8 to 10 shots per zerk. There's two zerks on the feeder house reverser. This is the upper feeder house variable speed drive. These need to be greased every 50 hours. There's two grease zerks located behind the shivs. They need to be greased 10 to 20 pumps per 50 hours a piece. Next we're going to cover grease intervals on the combine. If you're going to be working in muddy, wet conditions, the rear axle needs to be greased on 50 hour intervals and the final drive on a 50 hour interval. Otherwise, most fittings are 400 hours except for the rotor drive is 50 hours. We're going to go over right hand lubrication intervals. We have 50 hour zerks on our fan drive at the top and on the bottom. These are right here. One inside here on your shivs. One up here, at the, two up here at the top. Rear axle pivot grease fittings are on the rear axles on both sides, top, top and bottom.